Today on The Daily Dose, the New England colonies and Native Americans. During the age of exploration, early contact between European explorers and Native Americans led to the deaths of 90% of North America's indigenous people, not through war or conflict, but through the introduction of foreign diseases such as smallpox, tuberculosis, measles, cholera, and bubonic plague. Unintentional disease transmission continued into the 1600s when English colonists populated the New England colonies of Plymouth, Massachusetts Bay, New Hampshire, Connecticut, New Haven, and Rhode Island. And while some colonial leaders such as Puritan minister Increase Mather believed that the decimation of native populations was proof that God blessed colonial expansion, other leaders used the devastation as a way to convert Native Americans to Christianity, creating praying towns, which were the first examples of reservations for Native Americans. At first, an uneasy peace existed between the colonists and the nearly 60,000 Native Americans living near English settlements, where Native Americans traded hides, food, and local knowledge in exchange for beads and other forms of currency known as wampum. For the colonists, Early trade exchanges proved vital to their survival, while Native Americans sought to build alliances in order to strengthen their fight against indigenous enemies, a critical disconnect that would hinder their ability to unify forces against foreign encroachment onto their lands. For the colonists' part, a mere five years after their arrival, the Plymouth Colony became so self-sufficient due to their relationship with Native Americans that they no longer required financial support from Great Britain. Relations between Native Americans and New England colonists slowly eroded over the course of the 17th century, coming to a head in 1675, when local authorities at Plymouth executed three members of the Wampanoag people for the murder of Christian Indian John Sassaman, who had previously warned the colonists about a planned attack by local Native Americans known as the First Indian War, or King Philip's War. The struggle would see 14 months of bloody conflicts between colonists and Native Americans, leading to thousands of deaths, casualties, and displacements, a preamble of sorts, for the next two and a half centuries of sporadic fighting between Native Americans and westward-moving settlers. And there you have it, the New England colonies and Native Americans. Today in the Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with a daily dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.